Michael, congratulations. Into the quarterfinals for third year in a row. Not your best, but enough to win. Joe gave me a lot of chances today, and you know what? Joe's my best mate on tour. Like, I know there's Ian White and everything, but me and Joe have got like like a week. To be fair, right, he bullies me a lot. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm friends with him. So when I see Joe Cullen, my name changed for bully boy to like bully victim. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got so much respect and love for Joe, and it was an hard game. But if Joe wanted to miss, he's not going to pay me bills. I've got to step in and take my chances, so win to win. Almost won it in superb style. When it left your, left your fingers, did you think it was close? I thought everyone was in. And it wasn't until that last one, even when I let go, I thought that's perfect for and out. Just unlucky enough, I hit the tyre <laughs> going for double 12. But I'm not, I'm not fussed about missing the nine. I'm more disappointed I let the fans down and stuff. So I've done a nine, nine down on TV, I've got my goal pin. I don't need more. It's it's more for the fans now that they can enjoy a, a perfect leg when you win your one leg. It's it, it's the things in between. And I know it was the last leg, but it's not it's not important to it now. It's just winning that match, which I come back and didn't double twelve last time. Looking ahead, either going to be Marco Van Gogh or Gary Anderson over the longer format. A match that should should be enjoyable to watch for everyone. Looking forward to it. Yeah, of course. Um, if I play Gary, I know. I've got a tough game, and if I play Michael, I know I've got a tough game. So, <laughs> either way, as long as I get on that stage and I perform the way I can, I'll be happy. And like you say, I'm in the quarterfinals again. Like, it's, it's a tournament that I love, and it's a tournament that I do produce in. Even though it's not my best stuff, I still manage to scrape wins, and I still manage to get, get through these latter stages. Thank you very much, Michael, mate. can you put your finger on why it didn't quite catch fire from both tonight? Maybe too much respect between Yeah, it was. That, you just said yourself, too much respect. You see him when um, I think I missed six or, six or seven darts to go four one up, and when Joe hit it, I started clapping. I shook his hand. I was like, "It's about time." Yeah, I just I, that would have made me feel really bad. But then on the break when we come off, I was like, "No," I just said, "No, he's not going to pay me bills. I've got to put all friendship aside and do it." And there's only a certain few people I think like that, and Joe is one of them. He's he's such a nice lad, and although he does bully me, but <laughs> I do love him to death. Both from your point of view, you haven't really peaked anywhere near your, your top form yet, and you're into the quarterfinals, so I suppose plenty more to come. Yeah, I've got a lot of gears to go, but listen, I, if I keep playing rubbish and keep winning, I don't care. But I just, I just know there's a lot more gears to come. But the W is more important. That, that, that's all that matters. Is getting that W, getting that win. And Gary or Michael next? What do you make of Michael's return to form in recent weeks? Gary or Michael? I'm not really fussed as long as. I go on that stage and play well. Michael can play his best darts ever, and Gary can. As long as I compete, and then that's my main issue. As long as I compete, I'm not bothered about someone else's game. And he could play well, he could smash me 16 0, same as Gary could. But I'm in the quarterfinals, so hopefully my A game does turn up, and if it does, it'll be a very good game. Cheers, mate. Thank you. You're welcome. Michael, is it about peaking at the right time in these tournaments? Because you've not quite hit it yet, but there's still plenty to come. Yeah, that's it. I'm just getting very, very good at scraping games. <laughs> You've seen over the years, uh, I, I only ever had one game that was an A game, and that's all it was. When I was reaching semis or finals on TV, it was just an A game. And you see now the battle side of it, the more mental side of it. And no, I think I'm really proud of myself because I think I've come a long way <clears throat> just trying to find two or three different games. And it'd be nice if one learn for the A game every single time, but you can't do that, you're not Phil Taylor. <laughs> you cannot play a game every single time, so no, I'm just happy. I've learned a lot of side of the games now. 17, 17 years too late, but nothing's never too late. We talk about that mental side of the game. Do you think that's maybe something that was missing in previous finals and previous semi-finals? That you've I mean, you've watched me. I don't know how many times I've done. Don't know how many times in an interview here. I've missed three darts, six darts, nine darts of a double. But yeah, I come back the next leg and I throw strong, but. Two, three years ago, I'd have three or four bad legs after that as well. So the mental side is really helping now. And it's, it, it, does, it really does feel nice knowing what I've been working on for the last 12 months is starting to show now. Cheers, bud. Michael, well done. Uh, you mentioned yourself the mental side there. You, you're now finding a way to win when you're not quite at your best. What actually has changed? I don't know. I just. <laughs> I, I can't even say down to my kids or my missus because they've been around for the last eight and four years with both kids, but I think it's more to kick up the, the backside that I needed. I've lost countless of finals, I've lost whatever, and it's like, no, I'm not going to progress in the game if I keep being that little spoiled kid 
I'm not spoiling well, I've got a family to look after, I've got a family to care after. And as you see when you come to my house, I've got the farm, I've got all the animals spare for now and it's it's something that I need to do and something that I need to work on. And luckily enough he's seen it now. And it's not just this tournament, so you can't say, oh, he's played four games. It's, I've been doing it all year, and it's one thing I've been working on. You've seen it every tournament, even when I've got beat, I've not stormed off, not thrown my darts everywhere. I congratulate the boy, I've had a laugh with him, and I'm just glad you're starting to see it now. And it's a new me. It, I'm not going to say new me, I'm still that way, but it's a new mental side of my game. I mean, this is an event you are very consistent. That's four quarter final, semi final, obviously, now in eight years. So, you do obviously enjoy this event more so than, say, the Grand Prix, which I know you're not a fan of <laughs> uh, or you don't like because you don't do very well in it. But yeah, you do enjoy this event, you do well in it. Yeah, um, as you mentioned, the Grand Prix, my doubles are not the best, and but in practice, they have been. It's just that double start, double finish, I don't like. But this tournament is it's quick fire, it's rapid, and but that's my game being a rapid player, a quick fire player, and I love it. Just the legs, it just suits me. It suits me well and it complements my game as well. You don't have much time to think, but I know once you get past the group stages, you have a longer format. Especially now, being Joe, I've got a best uh, best of 31 game. But it, it's the legs, I just love playing legs because sets, sets don't tell much. You've seen when I lost to Rob in the world. I actually beat Rob 16 12 in legs, but lost 4 3 in sets and he goes on to win the world champ. So, now nah, I just love the legs format. and. It, it's nice because I can put them three, four legs burst on. You do that in the world, you only one set nil up. <laughs> well, bottom line, you're through, so yeah. that's all the very best in the next round. Of course, I get to chill now, another day off, so it's good. Thanks, Michael. You're welcome.